people. Hello, my people. Gangster Chef here. Me and my gangster. Look, I finally got my hatchet. So now I'm officially gangster <clears throat> in the kitchen. Okay, so I'm cooking bone broth. Hey, Terry. Ha! 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 So, I'm cooking bone broth, y'all. What? Okay, look. Y'all don't get freaked out. Y'all ready? <laughs> Watch it. Look at that. Chicken feet. Oh, my God. Okay, so bone broth. I'm gonna show you guys how to make bone broth. I'm gonna tell it to you real quick right now and then I'm gonna go and start. So you get two gallons of water, two gallons of water, you put it, do not turn it on the fire yet. Then you take your bones, right? Okay, so I have a whole bunch of bones and knuckle meat, wait, here's the knuckle. Wait a minute. Here's the knuckle, oh Lord, here's the knuckle. And, um, you know, just all kind of different bones. And what you want is a, all of this color to come out of this bone, okay? Now, what they say, I, I did a lot of research, and what they say is that the collagen from bone broth, you know, now bone broth is crazy, but it's always been around. Bone broth helps with, of, uh, with um, the health of your gut, right so it gets into your gut system and it just it's it's a healing uh, mechanism a healing agent and also um it helps with arthritis it helps with a lot of things you guys look up bone broth but here's the thing do not buy no store bought bone broth make your own shit fall in love with yourself right okay so now they said somebody said chicken feet y'all look at this Chicken feet <laughs> are really good for bone broth. It brings out another kind of flavor, okay? So here's what I want you to do. You get your pot, two gallons of water, purified water. You sit it on your stove. You do not turn it on yet, people. Then you put your bones in the water, okay? I'm gonna put the bones in the water. I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all know Tyler Perry, he's not here yet. So I can't, maybe I can show you. Wait, okay, let me see if I can turn it pull it down hold on oh shit oh wait oh it ain't working y'all god damn it all right that's why when i go live lord have mercy all right anyway so just imagine i'm putting the bones in the water you leave it cold it has to be room temperature water okay and again you want to get all of that bone marrow do not be listen and listen linda if you are um vegetarian please don't get on this here channel because i'm gonna show you i'm gonna keep putting chicken feet in your face leave me alone all right so i'm putting the bones in the water and what you want to do for 30 minutes guys you want to let that bone those bones sit in that water right all this bone marrow this is what you want see that bone marrow in there it is going to come out when you add a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, okay? Y'all know how when you put some apple cider vinegar in your stomach and you, yeah. So, then you add these chicken feet. Lord, okay. So, I'm gonna add some chicken feet and then what I'm going to do is after I'm boiling it for at least an hour. Okay, so here's what happens too, you guys. I gotta tell you this too. This is a 48 hour, did y'all get that? 48 hours is what it's gonna take to make this bone broth. It's going to, I boil it first, like really, really hard for about 10 minutes, and then I take it to a simmer where the fire is just under there for 48 hours, okay? So I'm gonna add onions and I'm gonna leave the skin on it. A bell pepper, celery with the leaf, okay? 
I'm gonna add a red onion, and all of this is gonna give this flavor to my broth. And um, bone broth, again, you guys look it up. It is, you know, and it's very, very expensive. So make your own, people. Take that time. You ain't doing shit at home. Candy, you off right now. So look, girl, make some bone broth. Um, but that's right. You're not even cooking because uh, 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 your wife is cooking for you. So y'all, well, I don't know what's going to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You have to work that shit out. Or guess what? A gangster chef could come cook for you. <laughs> okay. So now, that's going to sit there for 30 minutes. Now. Guess what I'm cooking for dinner tonight? Oh, my Lord. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, people. I am cooking beef bourguignon. Oh, beef bourguignon from Julia Child. However, I'm using lamb and beef. So I'm gonna do both of those together. Oh, did I show y'all my, here's my new t-shirt. Gangster Chef, that's me. Me and my hatchet. <laughs> y'all see that? Okay. Um, so I'm gonna do beef bourguignon and I'm going to show you how to do it. It is an amazing dish and of course, as usual, it's the first time I've ever done it. Mm, mm, mm. And it's such, it's such a lengthy process. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it live or if I'm going to um, actually just video it and then put it up. Although I really do just love doing this live with you guys, whether your ass is here or not with me. It really doesn't matter. You could come back in and, and just, you know, play with me. But um, I think I'm going to get all of that together. I just wanted to show you guys the process of making bone broth. And bone broth is extremely healthy for your gut. And it's healthy for your internal organs and your system, believe it or not. And it's good for your joints. If you guys have, if anybody has um, uh, aches and pains and, and um, arthritis, Bone broth is absolutely amazing for you. So um, I'm just wanting to, I'm just showing you guys how to do it, how to fall in love with yourself. Remember, I'm always telling you, if you eat right, if you most importantly think right while you're eating right and while you're preparing your food, if you drink, drink right, you can't help but feel right. It is law. And I'm always trying to tap into your subconscious mind and get you to fall in love with yourself and cook your own food and do not be a Postmate girl. So those of you that are out there delivering Postmate, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, so um, I think I'm going, I'm gonna leave you guys and I appreciate all of you that are here. I can't see who's here because um, I have it shut off because I just wanted to talk to you. And um, I'm going to go back. When I come back, though, I'm going to leave the comments open. And we're going to cook uh, beef bourguignon. It's, usually, it's actually pronounced beef, beef bourguignon. Okay? Julia Child made this dish very, very famous. Beef bourguignon. B-U-E-F, -E I think is how it's spelled. And um, I'm going to take you guys on a journey of how to make this dish and I'm going to uh, show you all the ingredients and get it prepared for this lovely Sunday so that you can prepare for Monday and have your dinner ready. Well, I'm going to have dinner ready because y'all ain't going to be doing it. So maybe y'all do it for Monday, but maybe you do it next Sunday. Oh, and Robin, if you're here, Robin, I know it's Monday, honey. I'm sorry. It's coming. Rhonda Kilpatrick, girl, how many days you got now? Rhonda, you got two, what, five more days to uh, retirement, honey. Congratulations to you. Um, so right now my bone is sitting in the water with the um, apple cider vinegar. And I'm going to put it on a high fever. Those of you that did not see my bones, I'm making bone broth. And it bone broth is, is um, for good health, bone health. And if you drink it, once or twice a day, it helps with all of your internal organs and it helps you build 
a really good gut health. So, um, hey girl, hey. Uh, so that's it. And um, I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And um, I will see you guys in about an hour. So right now it's almost 7.30. So get your cocktails, get yourself ready. Because at um, 8.30, I'm going to go live and I will be cooking beef, beef, beef bourguignon from Julia Chow. But it's going to be gangsta style, honey, because I'm going to be adding some shit up in there. I'm going to tell you guys what originally is in it. And then I'm going to tell you how I'm going to gangsterize it. What? Ha! Y'all see me and my hatchet and that's it. So, I love y'all. And I'll be back at 8.30. Bye.